I'm Troy Baker, Upper School Director here at Breck. What Black History Month uh, means to me is just an opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments uh, and contributions of, of black people uh, since the foundation of this country. And I think that uh, all too often, a lot of those stories and, and accomplishments uh, have, been, have been buried and just haven't been highlighted um, in a way that just really celebrates the contributions that black people have made uh, to the United States as a whole. The upper school chapel uh, put on by the students uh, from Oasis uh, was just a really great opportunity uh, to put black voices and black students at the forefront. Um, and it was amazing just to see the things that were important for them to highlight, um, the things that were at the front of their minds. I think all too often uh, we talk at our students and it's just a great opportunity uh, for that chapel for our students to lead our community uh, through some of the accomplishments that black people have made, uh, contributions that black people have made um, here in this country and, and here at Breck as well, um, also on the local level, politically, um, and it was just really good to see students able to celebrate uh, their own identities and, uh, and be affirmed in that way. When I also think about Black History Month, um, one thing I'd love to see a little bit more of are just some of the stories that are, that are untold. Um, about black wealth, about entrepreneurs, about wealth that was stolen, um, the whole era of the 20s and 30s, um, and all of the different things that happened uh, nationally, from Tulsa uh, to a lot of other enclaves throughout the country where uh, after the Reconstruction period, uh, black people were able to do so many amazing things, only to have them uh, taken away through violence and, and domestic terrorism. And I just think that uh, all too often we kind of forget those stories. We don't really know how industrious uh, black people have been. And also just the tragic stories around uh, what was taken and, and what that generational wealth uh, maybe would have accumulated to today. Um, and I think that is a, a part of the story of black people um, that we often miss out on and, and kind of forget uh, just, how, just how many things uh, were, were taken along the way. Um, and I also think it helps to paint a picture of just how resilient uh, we are as a community and how resilient we've been um, despite those setbacks to be able to find ourselves in uh, positions and, and earn our way uh, to the top of the ladder in many cases. And so um, definitely would love to see more of those stories told during Black History Month.